Uh, very pleased to be joined now by the offensive coordinator of the Hamilton Tiger Cats, Tommy Condell. And uh, Tommy, coach had said it, this is not the 2019 Tiger Cats. We knew that going into the season. But do we know who the 2021 Tiger Cats are right now? I think they're evolving. Uh, I think that uh, 2021 Tiger Cats are a group that have worked extremely hard and especially preparing for this their latest game against Calgary. And uh, we have a lot of young players that have really not only worked hard, but uh, put a lot of great effort on and off the field to prepare. So uh, I'm excited to get a chance to, I've been, it's been an exciting week. I'll tell you that it's been, a, and they're so hungry and they want to do the right things. Uh, they want to have high character and they want to win. The next man up mentality, the, it, it's something that's always been preached with this team, but I don't know if it's been tested this early as much as it has. What have you seen from, from your guys who have, you know, maybe started a little bit lower on the depth chart who are now kind of being asked to play some, some bigger roles? See, Louis, you know, I don't really don't think much about it. Like meaning, you know, we, we just, you know, you know, we have coach in front of our names for a reason. And that's what we're supposed to do, no matter, you know, we're going to coach uh, no matter if it's the starter or if it's the, the one that's in the fourth or A, B, C, D group. It doesn't matter. Uh, but as they progress, we're going to coach them the same way. And our expectations are the same way. You know, I don't I certainly don't sit back there and say, oh, is this person's in. The, you know, No, we have to produce and we have to have the, the same standards that we have for anybody that's out there. Uh, and we're learning those 2021 standards. I've said this a couple of times, uh, you know, it's, it's not too often that uh, your third string quarterback is someone who, who knows the playbook so well, who, who's been around. It's not just some guy off the street. It's, it's, you know, somebody, how important is that having David Watford who's been in these quarterback rooms for the last two years, if it is him going on uh, Friday, um, that he is not, not coming off the street. Like I said, you know, I think what he has is the experience with us in the room of last year. Uh, obviously, he didn't have the training camp here. Uh, he's been here for, uh, I think, the last two weeks. So that experience that he's had for all last year and having the ability to play and also building the relationships that we've had. You know, I certainly know David and feel really comfortable with David. And, and I've, I feel that he's in that same mode for the rest of the group in the quarterback room, as well as a lot of the receivers. Uh, and, and the way he prepares uh, and the way Jeremiah prepares and Dane prepares, they, they all rub off each other. It's a great room to be involved with, and I'm glad I'm, I get the chance to uh, coach him every day. And with Dane, you know, Coach had said that this is somebody who's never really been hurt. He's never been pulled from a game. This is a new experience for him. What have you seen from him kind of in his streets out there, kind of that secondary kind of quarterback coach you have down there in, in Dane? Uh, this week with working with uh, Watford and, and Bram and uh, and the other quarterbacks you have in Jeremiah? Well, it's in his blood, you know what I mean? His dad is uh, as a, as a Texas high school coach, and, and I'm certainly – Dane will uh, carry on the legacy. So we're getting a chance to uh, test those methods as well. Uh, but I, they all do that. And I'll say that Dane, Jeremiah, anyone that was into that, I, those are the expectations for that position uh, and for that room uh, in particular – that it, you know, if someone is playing or not, because there's only one quarterback that can play, you know. So when that person's uh, in, great. And if the other two that are not in, they're in there coaching and they're making sure that they're not only the eyes for a quarterback to assist uh, the the one that's in, but also the other players that are around, you know, uh, with the, the limitations and staff and all that kind of business, they need to be. And that's what we do and that's what we expect. And just in terms of what you've seen from your receivers, you know, um, you, you've missed Devere Posey, you've missed Braylon Addison, but what these guys who are out there are doing, at least from my perspective, is they're putting some pressure on you to make some tough decisions when you are fully healthy. And then what have you seen from your receivers, particularly Tim White, Stephen Dunbar Jr., even David Ongerer, uh, that's, that's impressed you uh, so far this season? Yeah, and I'll even add, you know, uh, Poppy White to that uh, equation too. You know, I think all the – what I see is guys that are growing. You know, I see the guys that are coming in feeling more comfortable. You know, they've only uh, – they're all new first-year players in the CFL for the most part. And then we have the, our savvy vets, which are two-year players, which is younger, like you said. So uh, – but they 
I, I, as I watch them and the growth that they're taking place and they're comfortable in regards, not only into the offensive system as they're learning it, but also the CFL game, because it's different, you know, the waggle, uh, yes, but it's that 20 second clock and the defenses and the, the structures that they go into. So I see their development and it's exciting to watch those guys come out and practice and, and show the amount of care that they have, not only as an individual, but as collectively as a unit and ultimately as a team. So I see passion, I see energy, and I see hunger. You know, and that's what I see from that group. Uh, and just looking at the opponent this week, the Calgary Stampeders, they're coming off a big game, seven sacks, holding Trevor Harris to, uh, you know, I believe it was just 220 yards or so. What have you seen from the opponent this week that, uh, that you're hyper aware of maybe? Well, Calgary, we have the uh, utmost respect uh, for Calgary and what they, they, they've always accomplished and the coaches that they have there and the players that they have there. So nothing really changes, you know, uh, honestly, when, when Calgary's coming to town. Uh, so we faced them a lot. Uh, we respect them a ton. Uh, but I, I'm certainly worried about what we can do in each and every day and each and every minute uh, that we're prepared for them. So I'm really worried about what we can do and what we can accomplish and what we can control, uh, not so much Calgary. Well said. Coach, appreciate this as always. Thank you. Thank you, sir.